Hello. Hello. This is the crazy math team of Benson and Voss, and we're going to start you out by talking about Desmos. Miss Benson's going to talk you through some things, and I'm going to use my fancy fingers to type them in over here. All Sound right. like a plan? So Desmos is pretty much our most favorite invention when it comes to math ever. Uh, if you've never seen it before or you haven't used it, this is the address for how you would get to it. There's also an app for it on your phone. Maybe we can put directions for that somewhere. And when you pull it up, you get this. Yes, it's a beautiful thing. There are your basic buttons, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, numbers, square root, exponents, things that you've seen before on your handheld calculator. But it also does a lot of things that your handheld calculator did not do. So if you have a copy of these notes, there are some shortcuts on there mm -hmm. for how you can type things on your keyboard instead of just having to use the buttons. And if you don't have the notes, you might just want to take a screenshot of this if you know how, or pause the video and write it down because this stuff will be really helpful later. Absolutely it will. Because we're going to use these and we're not necessarily going to explain every time because we're just going to be typing in problems. Okay. So some of the cool things that you can do in Desmos that you could not do in some of the other calculators is you can very easily type scientific notation in and it will give it to you in standard form or decimal form. So you have probably seen scientific notation before and you may have even tried to use it on the handheld calculators or you might have been very lucky and had a teacher who showed you how to do it. Right. But for a lot of us, we just had to do like the jumping and counting. So now Desmos will do it for us. Right. Absolutely. One of the other things you can do that you could not really do on the handheld is mixed numbers. So I'm going to have to help Miss Voss out on this one. <laughs> but what you do is you type the whole number and then you hit the space bar, which she will hit behind the board. <laughs> and then you can type the fraction part. And when you go to the next line, and hit the answer key, it will change it to a decimal for you. So it takes a couple of steps to turn a mixed number into a decimal, but when that's something that we couldn't do before at all, right? I'd say it's worth taking 10 seconds to do. Absolutely, I think you're right. Another cool thing that we can do in Desmos is we can do order of operation problems, no matter how long they are, all in one step. Absolutely. You just have to be careful about how you type things. So the note on this one, says that when you need to type more than one thing in the numerator or denominator, then you press the fraction button first right. um, so that you can type as much stuff in the top as you need and as much stuff in the bottom. And instead of having to go through, all right, I got to do my exponent first and then my addition and subtraction it left to right. It for you. Did the answer for you. Absolutely. So we're actually going to take like a super quick break and we're going to have you guys try a couple of those. And then we'll come back with the answers. So even if it seems long and crazy, give it a try. Alrighty, so if you'll peek over here, the answer to the first problem is 13. And the answer to the second is 53. If you made a mistake, just pause and check, like compare your Desmos to this Desmos over here. But if you got them right, think about how much time you just saved. Right, absolutely. You just have to be very, very careful, very mindful to type it in exactly the way you see it. Okay? So we have one more quick thing for you. It's kind of similar. Um, and you may have seen this before as well. If you are asked to evaluate an expression, so they give you like a number problem with letters and numbers in it, and then they tell you, oh, by the way, n equals negative three, there is a super easy way to type this in the calculator and it will do the work for you. So you type in the expression and then you type in the variable that you know, which is n equals negative three, and then it will plug it in for you and do the order of operations and your answer is 33. Right. So you'll need this soon, not quite yet, but soon. And it's gonna be really, really helpful when you do. And it makes everything so much easier and much more reliable. You don't have to worry about that making tiny little mistakes. So go 
type some stuff in, have some fun, explore Desmos and what it can do. It's pretty cool. It is. Absolutely. See you later.